Hello, everybody. Welcome back to ResiNet. Today, I'm super excited to show you this project that we have going. So I've made up 16 ounces of Jade Diction resin, and I've got four ounces of Part B waiting in a cup in case I need to make up another because I've got kind of a large project going on today. This mold, it came from Amazon, and look at the size of this lampshade. You know how I am kind of really stuck on lamps. So here's the lampshade mold. Here is the part that holds the, the shade up and here is the base. And I am so excited. I know this is going to probably take a ton of resin. I am going to use my ocean color that's kind of an aqua. And I'm just going to mix it up one eight ounce at a time. I'm not going to put any alcohol in any of my molds today because since I made these up um, a little bit early, I probably need to, um, you know, move kind of quickly so that I'm not, um, my resin doesn't get too warm. There's not a whole lot that I'm going to do to this. They're all going to be the same color. And I decided on this uh, Pixis Alcohol Ink Ocean because it's kind of a teal, aqua, oceany color, really. So I'm going to just give it a good shake. I want it to be just ever so faint and super translucent. So we're going to do one, two, three drops so far. See how that does. Just want it to be a really pretty, subtle color. Oh my gosh, yep, this is going to be it. So this is only three drops. So I need to make sure that I remember that for my other amounts here so that um, they all match. If we have, when we go to add, whoopsie. Oh, I always have problems with that. Went right over the edge. Oh gosh, you guys, this is really a pretty color. I think I can picture this in the lamp with the, um, a little battery operated candle or something in there. And, um, so this mold, kind of expensive actually, for the kinds of molds that I usually buy like this, it was just right at about $22.99 for just the one. I bought two so that I could have a set. But for today, I'm just going to make the one. Okay, that looks like it's pretty well stirred. And I'm gonna pour this whole thing, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to do this in layers. I'm using J Diction. I'm familiar with it. This is pretty, this is not too thick in between. So it's going to be tall, but it's not going to be that fat down inside of there. You can see in there. See, it's about that thick. I don't know. I think at the widest part, maybe half an inch, maybe. I don't even know if it's that. Um, but I'm going to give it a quick spray of alcohol in there. And I've got a few little micro bubbles in there, but not too worried about it. So, um, gosh, what do I want to start with? I'm so excited. Okay, so let's start with the lampshade, okay? And this might run down the side, so I'm going to be kind of careful here. But I just think that color is going to be so beautiful. Okay. So let's just go down the center here. Just going to pour straight down. And yeah, it's going to be kind of an expensive um, thing to make with the amount of resin I think that it's going to take. But I'm super excited about it. So I know that I'll at least get my pair that I want. But I can picture this even just with clear resin would also be just so beautiful. Okay, we're almost used up our eight ounces and it's not going to fill it all the way. So I'm going to guess that this would take another, about another one ounce maybe. Okay. So let's go ahead and pour this eight ounces 
into this cup since we've already used color in this one. I like to reuse these cups, so I um, like to keep all the color or glitter if I'm going to do it into just one of these cups. I buy these with the black lines on it. Super easy to use. They're really convenient. I, got, I get these on Amazon. I think I pay, I want to say, about $10 or so um, for a stack of them. If anybody wants the link to that, I can post it for, for you. But it um, shows it here in milliliters on the sides and in cups and in ounces. So it's really convenient. Okay, so here is this. Let's do our three drops. One, two, three. And we'll get this stirred up. And we are definitely going to be making that other eight ounces to get that going here to but this way by the time we're done you guys will know exactly how many ounces you're going to need for this project if you decide to make this lamp really pretty really pretty sea glassy kind of a color with just a hint of blue really pretty I'm going to scrape my stick so I can keep my most of my color in there and some on my glove, it looks like. I've got a few bubbles there, as you can see. Spray that. Let those kind of start rising up. I see I've got a little bubble in here around this edge. If there's a few bubbles on the inside, I don't really mind those too much. I just don't want them um, hanging around the edges or on the outside of the mold. Don't mind them on the inside. Even some of the really nice glass that you can buy, um, the vintage glass, you know, it's manufacturer flaws when they um, would come to you with bubbles inside. But um, it was a major flaw if it came with a popped bubble on the outside of the glass. So, okay, here we go. Finish pouring this in. We're going to go all the way to the top. There we go. It's not going to take any more than that. And I'm going to let these bubbles rise up a bit because I do see some right here. They're already coming up to the top. And um, I'm going to make sure that that they're kind of disappearing where they're hugging on that side there. Give it a quick spray. Kind of encourage those to keep coming up to the top. That one popped, but we've got one hugging up here. Well, right there. Okay. One in here on that side. Okay, we're going to let that keep going. I'm not going to keep messing with it because I know they're going to keep coming up to the top. And I'll be here all day if I just sit here and babysit it. So I'm going to wipe this off a bit. Okay, so there is that. Now, let's go ahead and work on this. I don't know that you're going to be able to see the whole thing. Let me see if I can maybe tilt my camera just a bit. Yeah, I can't get that off of there. So. Go ahead and spray it. All right, you guys, you're not going to be able to see the top of this because um, it's too tall. It's too tall for me to show you, but I'm just going to be taking this, as you can see, the top here. Okay, and I'm just going to be pouring straight in all the way to the bottom. And slowly, you see it coming in here. Going. Don't know if this is going to fill this. It's going to be close. <laughs> it's close, but not all the way. Now that is super top heavy, so I'm going to have to be really careful with that. 
So I'm going to set this aside and hope that it stands there really well without moving. Okay, I'm going to actually go ahead and move this part over to my curing rack and then I'm going to make up some more resin and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my other eight ounces made up and I'm going to put a, just a spray of alcohol in there real quick. Then we'll go ahead and we're going to add our three drops. One, two, three. Okay, and hopefully this will be all that we're going to need. Oops, I forgot to add it to my other cup, but that's all right. Most of that out of there anyways. Go ahead and mix that in. There we go. And we're going to let that sit for just a second. Let some of those bubbles rise up. So there is that. Just a few bubbles. Not bad. This one's not doing too bad. Let's see if I can scoot it over here so you can see. See, we do have those micro bubbles in there. I do another spray of alcohol. Just kind of bounced right back up. But those kind of bubbles I really don't mind. They're just really small anyway. Um, I do want one of my cutoff water bottles. That was easy. <laughs> it's going to make it a little easier to pour. We don't need very much in the top of that. This part here. That looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and top this off. I know you can't see it but it only needs about a quarter of an inch or so. So there we go. That is almost to the top. I'm going to go ahead and move this over to my curing rack. Wish me a little luck that I can get it to stand there. It's very level over there, but I just want to make sure nothing bumps it. Okay, so here in this mold, I do see, let's see, I don't know if I can get the right angle. You see here, a little bit of discoloration in the mold there. And over here, you can see this. I'm sure if where I can get that angle to look. Or you can see it right there. See it right there? It looks like almost like a fingernail mark. There's two of those. Another one up here. So I'm hoping that once I get this poured, that those will not come through. Um, you know, I... Really, I guess I kind of expect when you're paying a higher price for the mold, especially that they're being very careful to make sure you're getting a, um, a product that's, you know, kind of free from defect. Also, something else about this mold, it did not come with free shipping. It was not Amazon Prime. I think I paid, I want to say maybe $5 for shipping, but... That's okay. I'm still super excited about this. Still super excited about it. Put some more in here. This is the rest of my four ounces. And we'll see exactly how much this is going to take. All right. This is what we've got left for our out of our 24 ounces. And I have a feeling it's going to take right about this whole amount. And then we will know yep pretty close probably could use another half an ounce or so but that's okay Let's scrape this out all right you guys there it is okay 24 ounces of resin that took but i'm hopeful that um that this is going to be super pretty when we're when we get it out of there so yep there it is okay so just as soon you can believe that just as soon as this is um cured we will be back to um demold it i will see you all tomorrow so our little mold is all completely cured and i'll tell you um there was no problems with this carrying everything went well the color is beautiful just a really light kind of a aqua-ish color um, I did have an issue with this, okay? I came in and checked on it late in the night, and the weirdest thing happened is I had this full all the way to the top, and when I came to check on it, it was down to about here. And I thought, what in the world happened? Because I knew that I topped that off level. Well, 
as I started in, in a course that was hot because it was um, a few hours after I had poured it and it was starting to cure. And what had happened is there's no support underneath this in here. So it started bowing out on the inside. This cup out of there. You can see here it started bowing out on the inside. Never even dawned on me that I could have a problem with this um, doing that. So definitely when you are going, if you decide to buy this, which I'm, you know, I feel like for the price for $23 plus shipping plus, you know, tax, whatever, that this should have been a lot more um, stable on the inside. Okay. I just was not expecting that I was going to have to support that, but I found out that I did have to. And so right now I've got, as you can see, got this big spot in here. So I'm going to have to redo this, but I don't even know with this like this, if this is even going to fit correctly in here, but we're going to, we're going to take it out and see anyway. Okay. And we're going to start with this part of it. Um, see, I've got a little bit of overage here because when I was trying to kind of manipulate it back, I wanted to make sure that I was up to the top because you had to have this centerpiece here had to be covered, you know. So I was just kind of squishing it and maneuvering it around to where it all kind of came back up. And then I stuck that cup underneath there. But um, yeah, so this is this is a pretty tight fit. I'm going to go ahead and put some spray just a little bit of alcohol in here. Get a paper towel ready. I like to wipe it off just as soon as I get it out of there. Okay. I'm just refill my little alcohol bottle here. Let that kind of soak down. Yeah, I'm disappointed. Disappointed in this part of it because, you know, so excited. That's a lot of resin. This was about, I want to say, maybe about nine ounces or so of resin in this. So I'm going to just going to turn it over. Let's see if I can pull it out this way. Very, very tight. I have to pull it down. Let's see, I'm going to put more in there. Maybe I can pull the bottom out a bit and it could be that I'm having a harder time because it is so misshapen. So I kind of pulled it up, oops, but I can see that I can pull it over the edge here. I had to move it a little closer to me to get a better grip. Kind of harder to do this, keeping it in focus with the camera. But, okay, gosh, okay, so I'm gonna have to remember that too. This is definitely not a quick and easy demold. Whew, okay, get my mold put back in the way it goes. So you can see it's actually quite pretty. It's got these little like diamond faucety edges around the edge. So it's actually really pretty. Actually, you could just do you know, if you had this done correctly, you could make just the lid part here and have a beautiful little flower pot or for pens or something. That's very pretty. But yeah, super disappointed in this part. But, um, but that was my fault. I should have really kind of checked on that. Okay, so now let's get this part out here. Expect this to go a lot easier. Oh, really pretty piece. This comes out looking just like glass. One thing I really enjoy using J Diction for this reason. Really pretty. Look at that. Now those two little smudges or so that I was worried about here, little fingernail marks. You see, definitely see them. Here's a little smudge. When I first took that out of the mold, I mean, out of the package, I could have definitely exchanged it and returned it 
and said, yeah, send me one that's not, um, that's not damaged like that. Um, I did buy two, so I'm going to be checking that second mold over really well. But look at how beautiful is this. It definitely, definitely looks like glass. Very pretty. So now this might be another little bit of a challenge to get out of there. But let's get it out and see. That definitely helped break the seal around there a bit. Let me put a little bit more alcohol in my bottle. Ninety-one percent isopropyl alcohol is what I use. This particular one came from Walgreens. It's just a um, bottle that looks like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and spray some down into this part and see how just how terrible this is going to be to get out of here. I'm going to let that kind of get down here. I want it to get down here into where this little part is here. Oh, I can already see it. Oh, this is super easy now. I can see it already loosening all the way up to the end without alcohol. So we should be able to just really kind of pull this out of here, I think. Get it up over that little lip. There you go. Just by twisting it worked. Get this alcohol off. Oh gosh, you guys, this is going to be really pretty, I think. Definitely going to be worth a second shot. Look at that. How pretty is this? Oh gosh, yeah, that is really pretty. And so that was with this color I'm really happy with. was with three drops of ocean of the Pixis alcohol ink ocean. Oh, it fits just right inside of there. No problems with that. And so this, hmm, let me see if I can kind of turn you, see that a little bit here. My mold's out of the way. It's not the best. I'm probably going to have to, to um, take this off and show you. So, Right now, it's kind of leaning in there. Oh, it's because, okay, it's because this is cured really well, as you can tell, or I wouldn't have been able to get it out of there. But this is still, this is still a bit soft. See, so I'm going to need this to be completely cured and hard for it to stand up in there without moving. Okay, but it would stand like this. And I thought that I would have room see i think you could put this on here it's not it's made to go like this as a little light okay this is what it's made to look like this little lamp see how pretty this would be okay we definitely need this to we definitely need this to firm up and i definitely need it to firm up Nice and straight. I don't want there to be any bins in that. None whatsoever. So I'm going to stand it this way. Let the tip of that just kind of cure straight up and down. It looks pretty straight. Okay. And then this. So evidently, this is set to go over the top of this. And so the company, you know, I thought it was kind of odd. The company that I bought this from also sells little disc lights. Okay. They're flat and you can get warm white or bright white light. And I guess it would just sit on the top of that. And then this would go down over the top of it. There's only about that much room. Um, or I could stand it this way. And I do have um, if I did that, I probably would go ahead and just use some glue or some UV resin and go ahead and resin that to the top of that so that it doesn't come apart. I, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I think while we're waiting for this to completely cure, this um, 
this piece here. I am going to redo this with the same color, three drops of ocean, and maybe get it into my curing machine or something, but I'm going to definitely support the inside of this and make sure that I don't have that happen again. All right, you guys, but I mean, I definitely see the potential, definitely see the potential of this really pretty. This color choice, I think, was perfect for this. So, all right, I will see you back here in a bit. I will see you all then. Okay, everybody, um, welcome back. So, okay, so my other um, lampshade is still curing, and so I decided what I'm going to do is that even though this one's got this little bit of misshapen area in here, I'm going to go ahead and use it. I um, kind of tried it on to the little um, little pedestal here, and it actually just worked fine. You can't even really tell that it has that problem on the inside when it's sitting out. So let's go ahead and put this together. I was waiting for the tip of this to cure all the way. It is no longer bendy. Um, it's been two days now, okay? And this is completely hard. Okay, so what you do then is we're gonna go ahead and put this in there. It stands in there just really nicely. And I know, let's see, how am I gonna do this? This is really a kind of a tall project. I'm going to put this together and then I'm just going to have to kind of move my camera back here a bit so you can see. But isn't this pretty? What do you think of this color? It's really, really pretty. So I don't know if it's showing up like a really a blue, but it's actually a really kind of a really light aqua e color, kind of a oceany aqua color. And um, so... This is the way that the lampshade is made to fit on there. See how that fits? Really pretty, right? Okay, and then um, as I was looking at it, I realized that you could also put it on the top here like that and probably resin it on if you wanted it more to be more like a, what do you call those, like a... Um, not a torch light, but maybe something like that, huh? But anyway, in the pictures with, um, that, that um, are on Amazon, when you buy the mold, it shows it like that, okay? So because of that, this little candle's not going to work. It would work if I wanted to do it this way. I could definitely put it in there, show you here. Um, I could put it in here, whoops, like that, <laughs> just like that, and it would work. Okay. And it does look like you've got like a little bit of a flickering candle. Let me see if I can turn off some of my lights to kind of show you. Okay. So that is pretty. I mean, you can do that. You could have a, a set of those on your dinner table or something. They're quite tall in this um, shape this way. So then I came up with another idea. And I think I was telling you before that they actually sell lighting separately to go with these lamps. I found that they were quite expensive, I felt. Um, but when I looked around in my supplies, I found that I actually have a set of these that I bought that came in a little case of, gosh, I want to say maybe 10 or 12 of them, okay? And so what I did is I went ahead and the way they showed it is they just had it, their lights are a little flatter than this and they just showed it like that with the lampshade on. The lampshade sitting down on top of it, okay, like that. And then those lights that I bought actually came with two different little remotes. And I don't remember if I got these on Amazon or on Tamu, but I will certainly look and find out. But um, then you don't have to keep taking the um, lampshade off here. You can just turn it on here. And then it instantly kind of goes into a mode where it kind of goes throughout all the colors. You can um, set it on any one color you like. You just have to push down on the color that you want and then have it stay. So anyway, this is what that looks like. Let me grab my lights real quick. Okay, so they kind of show the lamp looking 
like that. I've got my Alexa going over there and she's kind of, it's a little bit brightened here. But one of the things that I noticed is that if I put the light, the light is like this, okay, it comes out the top, but I thought, gosh, what would happen if I put it down in the bottom? And oh my gosh, I love it like this because now it lights up that whole area. Can you see there? And then you can change it to kind of a warmer light. There, kind of a yellow, all the different shades they've got. There we go. There's blue. There's kind of a yellow color. It would be a really pretty little night light because you can just use the remote. You don't have to take the um, the top off. I kind of like it set here on this kind of this bluish color. It really just makes it light up really pretty all the way down. You see, it's actually a really pretty. It turned out to be a really pretty little lamp. So, like I said before, I'm going to be. Um, I have two of these molds, so I'm going to make a set. If you can see there, you see all the little micro bubbles coming up through there. I actually kind of like that. It actually is giving it a really pretty kind of a fluidy effect with that light shining down in there. Now, of course, you could do any kind of color you want. There's, there is an option to do white. There we go. That's just just that are plain white and that kind of, um, you know, just kind of gives it a, a nice little bright effect there. But um, anyway, I'm really happy with this. Getting this part figured out with the lampshade so that I don't have that big bulge in the middle is, um, that's definitely going to make me feel better about this purchase. But overall, I find this really kind of fun. I will probably end up putting um, like a bit of UV resin or some super glue in here and just making this um, stable so that it doesn't come all apart, except for the lampshade, of course, because I'm going to want to be able to put my little light in and out of there. But yeah, let me know what you think of this project. Let me um, let you know really quickly how tall this is. If you've got it standing up this way. It is from the bottom of the base up just about 10 inches tall. Okay, and that's without the light in it. So, you know, if you add about another inch, it's probably a good 11 inches. Just a nice little accent lighting or a little night light. But anyway, let me know what you think of this project. It was really fun to do. I really have been enjoying doing all the different little lamp molds and things, but this one was really pretty. Okay, you guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this project and let me know if you give this a try. I will link the mold in the description um, for Amazon. I have not seen anything like this yet on Tamu. Doesn't mean it's not there, but I have not seen it. Um, and I just ordered a couple of other little, <laughs> other little similar lamp molds from Amazon. So I'm sure I'll be trying those soon too. All right, all. Thank you so much again, and I will see you all next time.